I'm sure you've heard people talk about VPNs. You might have even used one before. But here's the real question. Do you actually know what a VPN does and how it keeps you safe? Because once I figured that out myself, I was honestly shocked by how exposed I'd been all these years without one. But before I explain how VPNs actually work, let me give you a quick warning. Not all VPNs are created equal. Some are fast and secure, while others overcharge you and slow your connection to a crawl. And trust me, I've tested a bunch of them. Before you buy a VPN, make sure you get the right one. Because there is a lot of really bad VPNs out there that overcharge like crazy and have really slow speeds. And the worst part is that they are not even secure. That's why I recommend you all to go to vpndiscount.org right now and pick one of the VPNs from their list that they reviewed. Not only is it reviewed by VPN experts, they also provide the best discount for you to use. I used their site to get NordVPN, and I was able to save 75% off, which is absolutely massive savings. So do not miss out. Go to vpndiscount.org now and secure yourself one of the best VPNs in the world for super cheap. They also have others like ExpressVPN, which is also really good as well. But it's also really simple to use the site. You just click the link, then buy the VPN and install it onto your PC, laptop, Mac, or even mobile device. There's no reason you shouldn't have a VPN in this day and age. Try it out and stay safe online, guys. All right, let's break this down step by step, because once you understand what a VPN actually does, It'll make perfect sense why almost everyone should be using one in 2025. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and that name already gives you a clue. Virtual means it's digital. It runs through your device and the internet. Private Network means it creates a secure connection just for you, like a secret tunnel between your phone and the web. In simple terms, a VPN hides what you do online, where you're doing it from, and who you are while doing it. It's like putting on a digital invisibility cloak. Websites, hackers, and even your internet provider can't see what you're doing any. Privacy isn't a luxury anymore. It's survival. When you visit a website like twitter.com, your device sends a request to a server, basically a big computer somewhere. That server reads your request and sends the website data back. But here's the problem. When that happens, your IP address is exposed. An IP address is like your home address online. It tells the world exactly where you are and which network you're on. So when you go online, you're basically walking into a crowd with your address written on your forehead. Websites, advertisers, and even hackers can track this and sometimes pinpoint your city or exact location. Now imagine doing this on public Wi-Fi, where anyone can intercept your connection. It's a hacker's playground. When you turn on a VPN like NordVPN or ExpressVPN, it creates an encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. All your data, messages, passwords, bank info, gets scrambled before leaving your device. Even if someone grabs that data, they'll only see random gibberish. The VPN also sends your traffic through its own secure server before reaching the actual website. So instead of seeing your real IP, websites only see the VPN's address, hiding your location completely. It's like sending mail through a secret post office that removes your name and address before delivery. Now let's talk about something everyone loves, streaming. Ever tried watching a show on Netflix and got that annoying message, this content isn't available in your country? That's called geo-restriction, and VPNs bypass it. Say you live in Asia but want to watch something only available in the US. You open your VPN, connect to a server in New York, and boom, Netflix thinks you're in America. It also helps with websites, sports streams, or booking flights and hotels. Prices can change depending on where your IP says you're from. And with a VPN, you can save money just by switching locations. Every time you browse online, websites collect data about you, what you click, what you search for, how long you stay. Then that data gets sold to advertisers. Governments can even request data from ISPs to track you. But with a VPN, that doesn't work anymore. Your ISP can't see your browsing history. Websites can't track your location. And companies like NordVPN and ExpressVPN have strict no-log policies, meaning there's literally nothing. It's known for having some of the fastest servers in the world and works on every device. iPhone, Android, Windows, Mac, even smart TVs. Both are super easy to use. Open the app, tap once, and you're protected instantly. Let me paint a few real examples. You're on airport Wi-Fi. 
VPN encrypts your data so no one can steal it. Booking flights, VPN helps find cheaper prices by switching countries. Streaming shows, VPN unlocks every regional library. Browsing privately, VPN hides your history from your ISP and trackers. Once you start using one, it just becomes part of your digital routine, like locking your door before leaving home. I always tell people, don't go for the cheapest or flashiest. Go for the one that's proven, fast, and actually secure. For me, that's NordVPN and ExpressVPN. And you can get both with exclusive discounts at vpndiscount.org. That's where I got mine. I saved 75% off on NordVPN through their site, and honestly, never looked back. They only list tested VPNs. No gimmicks, no shady free ones that leak your data. So yeah, go check it out before you buy directly. You'll thank yourself later. So now you know what a VPN really does. It's not just some techie buzzword. It's your digital bodyguard, your privacy shield, and your key to the open internet. Once you start using one, you'll realize how much more control you have online. If you want to grab one, go to vpndiscount.org. Check out their deals for NordVPN or ExpressVPN and start browsing the internet the way it's meant to be. Safe, private, and completely unrestricted. Thanks for watching. If this helped, drop a like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay private, stay safe, and happy browsing.